Today I'm going to show you how to duplicate a project in Final Cut Pro X. Hey what's up guys this is Marcos and before we get started I just want to say if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and do so because I'm making videos about how to create better videos so you can build your brand. Also hit that little bell button that way you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Alright so straight into the material. Why would you want to duplicate a project? Uh, this is a good question. Sometimes you're working well, the last time I did it, I was working on a little short film uh, for a wedding and I there were some changes I wanted to experiment with, but I didn't want to touch the original project because I thought, well, what if I mess it up and it goes off and I want to put it back together? I don't want to have to go through all the trouble of putting it back together how I originally had it, right? I thought this was the original product, but now I want to take this original uh, film and duplicate it, create another one just like it so I can make a bunch of tweaks, experimental tweaks and hopefully it comes out better and I use this version. But if I don't like this version, and what, what, what if I want to go back? Well, I already have the original and this is the duplicate. So that's the reason why you would want to duplicate a project. Sometimes you just want to experiment or see if you can do something better or maybe you, you know, what, for whatever reason. So without further ado, let's just, let me just show you how to do it on the computer. All right, so today's tutorial is gonna go very fast because there's really nothing much that goes into duplicating a project. Uh, here's a wedding film I'm working on. This is actually the second version, as you can see here, wedding film number two. I created a duplicate of this wedding film, and so I named it number two because I switched a bunch of the B-roll shots, uh, the the voiceovers, or actually the speeches, and all that stuff. I I created different transitions, a different feel, different music. So it's my second version to see if I could top my original, right? Because uh, once I start messing with this one, it might look entirely different. So. You know, I can always actually create another one. I can create another duplicate of this project. Here's the only thing you need to do. You select the project, right click, duplicate project, and it'll duplicate it right now. It named it number two, and then it added a one. Actually, I wanna rename this to number three because it's my third version, right, of my original wedding film. And then again, I can do the same thing. I can start messing around with the footage and maybe try to refine it more. And at the end, I can decide which one I like best, number one, number two, and number three. So that, that's a reason why you would want to duplicate a project. So if you're not aware that you could do this, now you know, so it's very helpful, uh, simple. Uh, so that's it. So there you have it. That's the quick way, pretty simple, right? Straightforward, but very helpful. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, anything you wanna share, please do so down below. Uh, yeah, if you want to see more Final Cut Pro X tutorials, any Final Cut Pro X questions, I'll be happy to answer those. Please ask away. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.